Okay, we got to get going. It's uh, nine years since we first met the Barone family. Uh, tonight they say goodbye with a one-hour uh, retrospective followed by the show finale. And so from Everybody Loves Raymond, please welcome Ray Romano, Patricia Heaton. <laughs> So much to talk about, but it comes well, to an end tonight. What are we going to do without the Barone family? Yeah. What oh, will we kidding. do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My and, wife doesn't watch anymore. So. Uh, <laughs> you still, you all still watch every Monday night? Oh heavens, no. <laughs> Let me ask you I something. I American Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> you did. So do I. It's very good. Hey, listen, guys. Let, why don't we just get right into it? What are you going to miss most about the show, Ray? And I'm going to ask that question of all well, of you. Well, are you going to have me on anymore? No, you're, <laughs> dead. <laughs> you're dead. That's you're it. That's it, Ray. Right. Say goodbye right. to everybody. <laughs> That's what I'm going to miss. No, I'm going to miss work. You know, these guys, we, everybody was great. The writers, I had so much fun working with these writers that were, were most of them stand-up comics that I worked with. Sure. Yeah, Phil Rosenthal. Well, I guess you're all going to say that because the camaraderie is, is evident on the show. But let me ask you this, Ray yeah. Romano. Yeah, yeah. What will you not miss? Oh. Patty uh, used to burp a lot before. <laughs> No, well, let me clear it up. Seats? Let me clear it up. She, yes, it was a, a nerve thing that before well, each scene. From from breathing, from that theatrical yes. breathing. I it was do. a theatrical burp. She went over oh, really? yeah. yeah. Yes. Are they any different than real burps? Yeah. <laughs> Louder. Well, yeah. No, but I mean big, loud burps. Right. Yeah. Patty, what are you? What are you not going to miss? Um. What am I? Well, I, you know, I, I thought I would not ever have to make out with Ray again, but he's, <laughs> he's asked me to come over once a week. Because and, uh, you know, his wife has asked me to come over twice a week. <laughs> So, I, I, see, I, let me reframe the question. I'm not going to miss this, this sarcasm. <laughs> Doris, what about you? I'm going to miss the work. You're going to miss the work and yeah. not miss? No, I've just had a great nine years, honey. So nothing, you're, gonna be, you're not going to miss anything. No, I've had it. That's a great experience. And, and what about you two? You know, some of the scenes that you guys have together are very poignant. Yeah. They really are. Well, and the steamy. Uh, and steamy, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any burping situation going on with him? Not from that end of the park. Peter Boyle? How about you, big guy? Uh, I'll, miss, I'll miss the guys. Yeah. Just the guys, not the women. <laughs> no, You're like, no, the women are way. guys, too. <laughs> That's a figure of speech. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. it's got to be tough. It's been nine years together, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and they, they were stuck on Friday nights yes. uh, for the first uh, three years, and, and then all of a sudden got out of Friday night and uh, into the, you know, the, the Monday nights, and all of a sudden... What about... I want to know what Brad, Brad is not let's hear from you, know, buddy. Obviously, Regis doesn't want to know. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, here's I something I won't miss. Not... Interviews like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so tired. Don't say that about you. You don't say that about me. I say that about me. Just you started this whole thing. <laughs> He's tired of the of the of questions, questions like this. When I'm on the you know, I'm like the Rosa Parks of comedy every time. <laughs> Yeah, the it's like, if we have time, we'll talk to the big Jew. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I don't have to get into what I'm going to miss. You, it'll be, you can read it in, in my statement. Read first, <laughs> first time I saw Brad Garrett was on the Seinfeld show, and he played the mechanic, and he was advising Jerry, and how are you supposed to care for your car, love you your car? remember that. Oh, That's it was fabulous. Thank it was you. fabulous. Thank All right, you, Monica, Regis. what about you, babe? I'm going to miss the new script. Getting that new script the first time and reading it and sitting down and hearing it, if it's great, and then getting the notes from my husband. Did you guys have a lot of laughs sitting around the table reading oh. the script for the first time? Yeah. Yes. Oh. We, and we used to do it really full out. I know sometimes actors come in and they kind of stumble through it. We all really used to give it all we had to really say, hear how it was going to sound. Uh -huh. It was always a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. Everybody loves Raymond right here. 
Yeah, everybody is uh, going to say goodbye to Raymond tonight. <laughs> Over on CBS, there'll be a one-hour retrospective and then the finale of the show. You know, yes. I know that none of them are married in real life, but I really believe that you all are married in real life. To each other. To each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just that perfect. Mm -hmm. You really seem like married people. Did that start right away? Because we fight a lot. Because you fight a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's quite a why the show is sort of universally loved around the world. How many countries are we uh, in? 100, 170. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico, no. Canada, and the United States. <laughs> We're, really We're big in India and Pakistan. Is that right? And a guy came up to me and said, Marie is just like a, Doris is just like a typical Iranian mother. <laughs> But we do not play in Iraq. Oh. It was shown once, uh -huh. and they took it off, and they said, that mother is too strong. <laughs> Did you take any like specific thing from the set, anything that you had to have? I took the couch, the living room couch. <laughs> yeah, I did. And my wife's not happy about that. I, I have to find a place to put it. I have to, yeah. I have to build a little... Oh, I have to build a little Raymond house for my stuff. That's yeah. a nice remembrance. What about you? Um, actually, every bathrobe, picture frame, camera, bowl, photo album says everybody loves Raymond on it in my house, so I really didn't need to take anything. But I've opened, <laughs> I've opened a gift shop. <laughs> Doris, did you take a little memento? I did. It oh. was a big memento. Remember the show where I was a sculptress and I brought him... My living room. Yeah. So it everybody was a conversation can see it. Too. That's a great what's conversation. Amazing, it works with the decor. <laughs> so you can imagine what her pad looks like. It's like. Peter, a, what about you? Uh, I, I have a lot of gifts like Patty. A lot of logo stuff. Sure. A lot of logo T-shirts. Yeah. A lot of logo mugs and, uh -huh. and things like that. Yeah. Good. And that's it. That's I'm sorry. I don't have room for Frank's chair. Oh. What about that chair? Can we get your hands on that? I'll take that. You don't got that? I'll take that, put it in my little Raymond house. <laughs> you can have it as a loan, no. All right. I, 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 just so long as I maintain ownership and, and, and yeah. you can lease it. You can All lease right. it, actually. I'll go in that room. I'll lease it to sure, you. Sure, why not? Brad? Yeah. I took the guard from gate seven. <laughs> uh, that's so nice. Sweet, sweet little Cuban kid. And, uh, <laughs> We need a place Where do to you hang. keep him? Uh, on the lawn. In the front. <laughs> he, uh, he just stamps people's card when they come in. Oh, um, Monica. Uh, Phil and I took... Moving on. Phil and I took the uh, Marie and Frank's kitchen table and chairs. Oh. 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 The final hours of the Ray Romano era. Yeah, it's all over. Is so, there a big party place to yeah, watch, there, the show watch the show tonight? tonight? Yeah. Together or We're all going to watch it together. <coughs> Excuse me, friends and family. Small, light, nice little Here in New group. York? Or yeah, no? yeah, 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 yeah. Good, yeah. great. You want to come? Love to. Yes. <laughs> Love to come. What time? Well, it's 9 o'clock. Uh, we'll get there at 9.30. <laughs> He always loved me, Ray. Did you ever read his book? But anyway, uh, so... Well, you... <laughs> oh, that's right. You're in my book. Well, that's yeah, right. I'm in the book, and I wish I wasn't. But anyway... <laughs> So, um, now, now, what's going to happen to everybody? I, I know that Br uh, Brad is going to do some, um, some stand-up, right? And no, going on Broadway. Tour, and, and there's a very good chance I'll be doing uh, Broadway. Uh, Maybe the, the, the Odd Couple? The Odd Couple? Yeah. And who would be the, who would be the other half? Well, I, I, well, actually, I'd be playing Murray the Cop. Oh, Murray in, the Cop. In, in, uh, the oh, couple, how great. Uh -huh. bodies, yeah. That's and as great. a matter of fact, the guy who started Murray the Cop character right there, I'm Peter Boyle. Boyle. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. He's had an outstanding career, this fellow, yeah. Oh, exactly. And Doris, what are you going to do? I've been doing movies. I've done two. One's called uh, Lucky 13, uh -huh. and the other one is called Grandma's Boy, and I'm Grandma. <laughs> 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 Patricia, how about you, Donna? Well, I'm coming over to ABC. Woohoo! So, Kelly, watch your back, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, I know how to do it. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a nice chair. Uh, we got to pause again. And we'll be right back. Never did ask Ray Romano what he's going to do, but I think he's going to write some more books. He's got a children's book right out now, Wrote right? a children's book. Ramey, Dickie, and the Bean. You're not in that one. <laughs> yeah.
It's out now, though. <laughs> All right, good. So now what happens tomorrow? You're going to wake up and feel like you're a little bit lost because there's, there's no routine to go to, there's no show to go to? Yeah, well, I think this is going to be like we filmed it three months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so we've been kind of getting used to it, but I think it's still alive, the show, because yeah. the final episode hasn't aired. So yeah. I think right. to, tonight, I think it's going to be a big night. But after you made it, did you, were there tears? Was there hugs? Were there, we'll, we'll always be friends? She cried the whole week. <laughs> right, you cried on day one of rehearsal, yes. but then it got pretty, yeah, it got a little emotional. Yeah, my, my, my TV father hugged me and, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. <laughs> saying that Ray cried. I, I didn't. Ray, Ray broke down. I will he, fight he everybody. <laughs> the man sucked. Did he cries like a girl, or was it a manly kind of cry, Brad? I can like still fire you. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most incredible uh, uh, speeches that he gave to the cast and the crew, it just really blew everybody away, because, you know, Ray holds um, uh, a, lot a lot of things of in. Well, he's medicated. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Ray. We'll be back with American Idol, Anthony Fennelon.